Let's make a chickweed infused oil. Making infused oils is easy and they are quite versatile. To make an infused oil, you will need some freshly dried or wilted herbs, a cutting board and a knife to chop up your plants, a jar to place your infused oil in, an oil for infusing such as olive oil, some water, and a small crock pot for heating the oil in. First, chop up your plant material until it is finely chopped and add it to your jar. Continue chopping and filling your jar until it is lightly filled. Be careful using a knife and have a big person help if you are not used to using a knife. Now add your oil into the jar until it is filled. Pour slowly so the oil doesn't get air bubbles in it. Place the lid on your jar. Now place the jar in the crock pot and pour water into the crock pot to fill it about halfway. You're going to want to plug your mini crock pot into the wall and heat up the water. If the water gets too hot and starts to boil, or the oil seems to start to boil, unplug the pot and let the water cool down. Continue this step for up to four days, unplugging your pot at night. Now that the herbs and oil have been warmed off and on for several days, it's time to strain off the oil. When taking the jar out of the water, be sure to wipe the water off thoroughly so that you don't accidentally add any water into your oil, which can make your oil go bad. You're going to place your strainer in a glass measuring cup and pour the oil into the strainer. If the mesh on your strainer is wide, you may wish to line the strainer with a piece of thin cloth. Let the herbs sit in the strainer for a few hours so the excess oil can drip out of the plant material into the container. While the oil is straining, clean out the jar if you will be storing your oil in the same jar you use to create the infused oil. I like to use a small, clean piece of old cheesecloth type fabric that has been used as a rag. After a few uses for wiping up oil, I can compost it. Cover your straining infusion with a cloth to keep out any dust or insects and let it sit for a few hours. Do not squeeze out the plant materials as that can introduce water into your oil, especially if your plant is still semi-fresh, such as this chickweed was. Once the oil has stopped dripping, remove the strainer and compost the herbs. Pour the oil back into the jar and place the lid back on it. Create a label for your jar, listing the herb that was infused, the date you made it, and the ingredients. You can also list where you got your herbs, how long you infused them in the oil, and any other information you wish to add to your label. Store your infused oil in the refrigerator and use within six months. Smell your oil every time you use it. If you notice the smell going funny, the oil has gone rancid, 
and it's time to discard it. You can increase the shelf life by adding a pinch of powdered slippery elm bark, a few drops of rosemary essential oil, or the contents of a vitamin E gel cap to help preserve the oil. That's all there is to making an herbally infused oil. Now try making one for yourself.